Hey everybody, it's AJ from Disney Food Blog, and today we are going to talk about some counter service places. Now, Disney sometimes calls them quick service, counter service, fast casual. We don't care what you call them. All we know is that they are excellent. These are really, really outstanding counter service locations. 15 of our favorites that we actually think are better than a few table service restaurants in Walt Disney World. So let's get started. First up, we have to talk about Be Our Guest Restaurant. This is in the Magic Kingdom. We have a whole video all about Be Our Guest because it is one of the most popular restaurants in Walt Disney World right now. This is the Beast's Castle, so it's inside the Beast's Castle. You can't see inside unless you have a reservation or you're going to eat there, so it's really, really fun to get inside and it's hard to do so. Sometimes it's hard to get a reservation here at Be Our Guest, but the great information for you is that even though dinner is two credits on the dining plan and it's signature meal and it's super expensive, lunch and breakfast are still counter service. So you can use your Disney Dining Plan counter service credit on lunch and breakfast here, which you should definitely do that, by the way, because it's a good deal to use your Disney Dining Plan snack credit here at Be Our Guest, especially at breakfast because those meals are incredibly expensive. Last I checked, they were $25. They may be more now. So that is a crazy amount to pay for breakfast at a counter service location. So definitely use your Disney Dining Plan credit if you eat breakfast breakfast there, but lunch at Be Our Guest is one of my favorite, very much worth it meals, even if you're paying out of pocket. I love the eats here for lunch, really excellent. On the menu right now, that braised pork, which is coca vin style, really, really good stuff. It's slow cooked pork with mushrooms, onions, carrots, excellent stuff. The French dip sandwich is always good here. We have the croque monsieur here, which I love. The French onion soup and potato leek soup, of course, are great. Those are usually snap credits as well. So lunch, awesome here. Breakfast is really good, but it's not worth the money at the moment, so use that dining plan credit on breakfast. But anyway, really good restaurant, plus you get the opportunity to see inside the most trendy and popular restaurant in Walt Disney World at the moment. Next up, let's head over to Satuli Canteen. This is, of course, in Animal Kingdom. It is in Pandora, the world of Avatar. This is an exceptional restaurant with a different style to the menu. So here you're gonna choose your protein. So you're either gonna choose tofu or beef or chicken. They just added on a shrimp and noodle bowl there as well. So they're changing up the menu a little bit here. So stay, you know, stay aware. Anyway, so you choose your base and then they've got a couple of toppings you can choose from, a couple of different sauces as well. So you choose your base, you choose your sauce, you choose your add-ons. But everything's super high quality, really excellent food, and there's definitely something for everyone. That's what's exciting about this place is that even if you have special dietary needs, people who are looking to eat a little bit healthier, this place will offer something for everyone, and people really seem to enjoy it as well. Something that's really fun here for the kids is the steamed cheeseburger pod, and this is really fun for the adults too. You can get the cheeseburger pods if you're a grown-up too. They're really, really good. They're bao buns basically stuffed with ground beef, ketchup, mustard, mustard pickle, and cheddar cheese. And they actually really do taste like McDonald's cheeseburgers on the inside. It's really weird. You're not gonna get any like French fries here, um, but they do have some vegetable chips and a couple of other options. Another fun item on the kids menu, which of course you can order if you're a grown up, is the Tailu all beef hot dog wrapped in dough. So this is basically kind of like a saucisse. It's like a hot dog wrapped in croissant dough. Really yummy. The desserts here are quite interesting. There's a blueberry cream cheese mousse and then a chocolate cake, but both of them are kind of those popular super shiny dome options. The chocolate isn't super shiny. It's got like a little bit of chocolate sort of sprayed on it so that it's got a more pebbly look to it. But that blueberry cream cheese mousse is real super shiny, that dome cake style that's really popular right now. Interesting drinks here as well. So lots of good options here, but excellent food, high quality stuff. Definitely better than some of the table service in the area. Next up, we're gonna head over to Disney Springs to the Polite Pig. This is one of the newer counter service spots and you'll see us in Disney Springs quite a bit for this video because there's so many exceptional counter service locations that have come into the Springs in the past year. Polite Pig is of course James and Julie Petrakis who are famous in the Orlando area and nationwide really. And they're James Beard level chefs who run the Ravenous Pig in a couple of other locations in Orlando. Very high-end food and this is a foray into the counter 
customer service or quick serve arena. This is gonna be barbecue stuff, barbecue cheddar sausage, really good stuff, brisket, Brussels sprouts, buttermilk pie is killer here. Don't forget that awesome Gideon's Bakehouse cookie that you can get here, which of course they bring in from the very popular Gideon's Bakehouse in Orlando. They bring it in every day at four o'clock. So get there at four o'clock and get yours before they sell out. They also have a bourbon bar here. So they're going really high end with their ingredients. They're going really high end with their quality. And of course they've got a full bar and that bourbon bar here. Very, very cool. Kind of a mix between an actual pub, like a table service pub and a counter service location. So really high quality there at Polite Pig. Next up, let's stay here in Disney Springs and go over to Wolfgang Puck Express. This one has been around for many, 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 many years serving really awesome eats for counter service. And this is kind of one of the first restaurants in Disney World that was doing that fast casual concept where you order your food, you go sit down and a server sort of brings your food to you. Great eats here, Wolfgang Puck's famous butternut squash soup, the half chicken with those awesome mashed potatoes, lots of great pizzas, there are Alfredo pasta. Desserts are great here breakfast is great here awesome eats very good use of your disney dining plan snack credit here at wolfgang puck express and remember they removed the wolfgang puck express on the west side so the only one in disney springs now is over in the marketplace but still great option for a counter service credit great option even out of pocket all right, let's talk about Captain Cook's. There's several locations in resorts that we're gonna talk about on this video. Captain Cook's is wonderful, has always been wonderful. It's over there in the Polynesian. This one is a little bit on the border, I think for me to get into this video, but because they serve some really exceptional eats, I'm including them. Captain Cook's is gonna serve some Asian inspired options some Pan-Asian noodles. They've got that Tonga toast there for breakfast, which of course is served up in Kona cafe for a more expensive price point so get it down there at captain cook's cheaper than you can get it upstairs same stuff you just don't get all the sides and it's also cheaper pork fried rice pan seared chicken sometimes they've got those awesome nachos here so captain cook's really really good food definitely worth your time and fyi they're open 24 hours here this is one of three locations in walt disney world that are open 24 hours at night in the middle of the night you're not going to be able to get anything great they're just going to have some flat breads and some sandwiches and things but if you come in in the middle of the night, this is a place to get some eats. All right, let's head back into Magic Kingdom to Columbia Harbor House. This is a guest favorite. It's been probably voted the best counter service in Magic Kingdom for a long, long time. Now that Be Our Guest is in, that's been a challenger for it, but it still gets a lot of really high marks. Columbia Harbor House is going to be a mix of sort of fried chicken and fried seafood. And then they have a couple of non-fried dishes here as well. They often will have like a seafood mac and cheese. They've got that great lobster roll here. So you're gonna to get sort of northeastern specialties here you're thinking you know liberty square 13 colonies kind of thing so you're gonna get cobbler boston cream pie fried shrimp stuff like that the lighthouse sandwich is back on the menu here it was gone for a little while and we're happy that it's back so some really high-end eats here things that you wouldn't expect maybe to get in counter service and don't forget in this particular restaurant there isn't upstairs to sit so on those days when it's really packed and crowded where the rain starts coming down you need some place to go this is is a great place to grab your food go sit upstairs because a lot of people don't know there is an upstairs so it's usually a little bit less crowded up there all right, let's head over from the Magic Kingdom to the Contemporary Resort, to Contempo Cafe, which honestly, when I was doing this video, when I was putting this video together, Contempo Cafe is the first restaurant that popped into my head as, wow, that is actually as good as table service. So this is in the Contemporary on the fourth floor, right next to Chef Mickey's and Outer Rim Lounge. And you can watch the monorails whizzing by as you sit at your table at Contempo Cafe. Great eats here. Again, it's gonna be pretty much American stuff, but there's gonna be some great sandwiches, some good flatbread. I can really recommend the French dip. And of course the desserts here are exceptional. They have an incredible bakery case and awesome, awesome uh, cupcakes here as well. Breakfast is good here. You can get your giant Mickey waffles here with that Bananas Foster sauce on them. Just love Contempo Cafe. I am never ever disappointed when I eat here. All right, time to head back over to Disney Springs. We're gonna go to Cooks of Dublin. This is the counter service location connected to Raglan Road. So it's going to be kind of Irish slash British-y food. Battered chicken tenders, so fish and chips, hog in a box. They actually have a battered burger here. Don't forget they have that incredible vintage cheese and bacon dip, which I am absolutely head over heels for, and they took it off the menu for a little while and I rioted. They finally brought it back. I'm sure they didn't do it because of me, but I definitely was vocal about it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
because I love that stuff. Um, so that's awesome, but they do a really good job there. Even though the menu is relatively small, they do a great job. Note that there's not a lot of indoor seating here. So you're right next door to what they call the hole in the wall, which is kind of an outdoor bar. So if it's a nice day outside, you can grab your food and sit outside to eat it. But there's not a lot of indoor seating here. Something to note if it's raining or if it's super busy in Disney Springs. Staying in Disney Springs again, we're gonna pop over to Deluxe Burger, one of my very favorites. As you all know, you've heard about it on the channel many times. This is a burger joint, but it's really, really nice. They've got eclectic and homey seating areas in their restaurant. I mean, they've even got some big armchairs. The burgers you have to choose from are so much fun and they're delicious. This is one of the only counter service locations where you can actually choose how your burger is cooked, which is really important to me. And I know it's important to a lot of you who like a good burger. You don't always want your burger cooked to death. You don't want a well done burger. They will say, hey, how do you want your burger cooked? And you can say medium rare if you want it that way. I love the barbecue burger here. I think it's excellent, but they also have Southern burger, which is really good, El Diablo burger. They have those donut breaded chicken nuggets for the kids. And the fries are great here, house cut, handmade. And then the dipping sauces, tons of great dipping sauces here as well. So really high end burger joint. Absolutely as good as table service when it comes to these burgers. Oh, and don't forget the awesome artisanal gelato shakes here. I love the salted caramel, as you know, but there's lots of other ones to choose from. Okay, staying here in Disney Springs again, we're gonna go over to Morimoto Street Food. Morimoto Street Food is awesome because they actually serve a few items that are on the menu at Morimoto Asia, the table service location made famous by Chef Masaharu Morimoto, who of course is an iron chef. This place is great. You guys know I love Morimoto Asia. And even if you don't love Asian food, you're still gonna love Morimoto Asia. Morimoto Street Food has ramen, really good ramen here. They've got those ribs that are famous in the restaurant. Egg rolls, lo mein boba tea, great beers, just exceptional food. It's gonna be high-end stuff, high-quality stuff, same as it is in the restaurant next door. Next up, we're gonna go over to another resort. We're headed to the Mara at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. This one is a hidden gem. A lot of people don't even know it's here if they're not staying at the lodge. This is the counter service for the lodge, of course, but they've got some really exceptional, unique food items here. Again, most of the restaurants in the Animal Kingdom Lodge are going to have African food items on their menu, same at the Mara. From African stew, the tamarind pork sandwich, those great zebra domes, which I don't think are technically African, but they are incredible for dessert. They've got all different hummus options, and they've got some eats for well, the pickier eaters too, as well, of course. So everyone's gonna be happy here. We're super sad to say that our very, very favorite peanut butter brownie is not on the menu anymore, and we, we have not seen it in the bakery case for a while. We've been told by the pastry chefs that it's not around anymore, and that they've replaced it with some other things. So if you were excited about trying the peanut butter brownie, it's not there anymore, but we're hoping it comes back. So let's, you know, let's riot. Let's ask for it to come back and hopefully it'll come back. But the Mara is still a great option. If you happen to be at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, checking out those animals or doing some of the great things on the activity list over there, having a resort day, the Mara is definitely a good place to stop. All right, from Animal Kingdom Lodge, let's go into the Animal Kingdom again and we'll go to Flame Tree Barbecue. This is a beloved counter service location for many, many, many Disney guests. And while the barbecue here has its good days and its bad days, I'm gonna be honest, this one was also another one that was sorta, of, I was on the fence about including in this list, but I do think it's great on its good days and it's a lot of food as well. So if you're looking to feed an army of a family, this is a great option. Plus they have a couple of options on the menu that I think are really unique and delicious, like the baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork and those onion rings. And of course those pulled pork cheese fries, which are just my favorite ever. And I would probably order those over several items in many table service restaurants. So huge platters of barbecue here and nobody's gonna go hungry, I promise. All right, quick detour back over to Disney Springs for Four Rivers Cantina Barbacoa, which is the brand new food truck from Four Rivers over in Disney Springs. And I'll kind of group most of the food trucks in Disney Springs into this, but that one is pretty unique in what it's offering. They've brought in a giant taco cone, some great nachos, even some dessert nachos with fresh fruit. They've got good churro balls here. Lots of exceptional options over there at Four Rivers Cantina Barbacoa. And also check out some of the other food trucks over there in Disney Springs if you have the opportunity. They have rotating menus, but they usually have some pretty good stuff. 
And next we're gonna head over to Tangerine Cafe. This is in the Morocco Pavilion. This has been a favorite for a lot of Disney guests for a long time. This is a great place to get high quality food for a decent price and also great options here for vegetarians as well. Tangerine Cafe specializes of course in Moroccan food. So you're gonna have shawarma chicken platters, a vegetable platter, which is really excellent. It's huge, great for sharing. Chicken and lamb, kefta platter, and a rotisserie chicken option too with yellow rice. Sides here are nice options for vegetarians vegetarians, marinated olives, tabula, lentil salad, couscous salad, and then for kids they've got a hamburger and chicken nuggets because a lot of the kids don't really like the international flavors of the Moroccan food there. But still this is great high quality stuff for a decent price like I said and note that that saffron rotisserie chicken right now is $18 so that's going to be a great use of a counter service credit on your Disney dining plan. And don't forget there's some great baklava, some great spiked slushies in the back. A lot of people don't even know there's an awesome bakery way in the back. Well, it's a, it's a bakery counter anyway, and there's really good baklava back there. So if you're a baklava fan, that's where you're going to get it. And finally, we'll head over to Woody's Lunchbox at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is the brand new counter service location in Toy Story Land. This one, I was a little bit on the fence, including as well, but I had to because some of the eats are really, really, really amazing and definitely better than some things that you're going to get for table service in a lot of the locations, especially in Hollywood Studios. So over there at Woody's Lunchbox, they focus mostly on sandwiches, of course, because that's what you put in your kid's lunchbox, right? But the three cheese grilled cheese here is amazing, really incredible. And now that it's been open for a couple of months, I keep getting feedback from my readers and from viewers that they are loving that three cheese grilled cheese as well. They've got the tachos here, the smoked turkey sandwich, and the brisket melt. They've got those lunchbox tarts, all good stuff. And if you are in Hollywood studios, this is a good one to pop over and grab and try out if you haven't tried it before. We really like it. We're really enjoying especially that grilled cheese sandwich. I think that one is head and shoulders above several options I've gotten in in table service locations recently. So there are 15 of our favorite locations, spots that we think actually show up some table service restaurants in Walt Disney World. And of course, a lot of them are gonna be significantly cheaper than your table service restaurants. And you can use that quick service dining plan credit. So while you're making your plans, just think about, hey, could I use a quick service dining plan credit and get food that's even better than what would cost me a table service credit? Yep, you absolutely can. These are the ways to do it. There were several other restaurants that I didn't mention that could have probably been on this list, places like Bongo's, walk-up window, the smokehouse over at House of Blues, bunch of other places in Disney Springs. They could have been on this list really easily because they serve the same food that they serve in the restaurants, really. But I wanted to keep it 15. I wanted to keep it to our 15 favorites and your 15 favorites. So let us know in the comments what you were to add to this list. Where are some counter service locations you would absolutely say, hey, this was better than table service. Be really helpful for us to see it and helpful for our readers and viewers to read that as well. And of course, if you didn't take notes and you want this list, we're happy to provide it for you, head on over to DisneyFoodBlog.com slash best counter service and we will get this full list for you. All you need to do is sign up for our free newsletter and we will get you the PDF for this list. No problem. All right, guys, we'll see you real soon. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog.